welcome to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and click the like button please subscribe and click the like button okay let's get to the topic at hand so today I want to talk about how on, on teachable moments today I want to discuss about women and the way we dress and how we should dress and so we see a lot of famous people on TV YouTube in the media uh, in the music industry especially and the way they dress which really uh, I can really say the way they don't dress because they wear basically less and less clothing g-strings bikini on stage now or if you know they're trying to get away with the most they can get away with and so this is what we see on tv and so i just want to put this out there for a teachable moment that this is inappropriate this is not okay to dress this way in the 1980s when i was growing up wasn't that long ago it may seem like it was a century ago but it wasn't janet jackson was very popular so was whitney houston and even mariah carey back then they all wore clothes they were the superstars of the music industry and they wore clothes back in, back then in the 80s and the 90s if you look at their videos they wore clothes didn't show any cleavage if any at all and so i used to i was in a world at the time I was in a christian i used to copy off of janet not totally copy but i would wear the tights with some boots and i would wear a, a tunic that went that covered uh pretty much went down mid thigh sometimes almost to my knees no cleavage or barely any and so i'm not saying that was okay but compared to today it's like okay there needs to be some boundaries or limits because they're just going too far these rappers the way they're dressing today like megan the stallion i went to her page the other day to do an article on i mean a uh to talk chat a little bit teachable moment about her uh, being shot at and so I went there and man I was shocked I'm like oh can I get I couldn't get off of her page fast enough it's like penthouse magazine playboy magazine and so these women are being exploited she may not see herself as being exploited but she is women are greatly being exploited in the music industry and the media today and it's just really sad. You know, women want to say, oh, claim women rights and all this, you know. But it's like, can you claim women rights in that area? Because this is this is is unacceptable what's going on, how women are being exploited by men. And so that's why I kind of just want to talk about teachable moment that what they're doing is the way they're dressing is very highly inappropriate. Even when I dressed down back then, it's nowhere near what these women are wearing. No one will even walks around their house in what these women are wearing today. It's ridiculous. It's nasty. It's nasty. Like I said, it's a, it's a rated triple X magazine. It's pornography. That's what they're doing. They're dressing. It's all pornography. Their lyrics, the way they're, their videos. You can't even watch these videos. Don't let your children watch this. And if you're younger, don't watch that smut. Do not watch it because that's all it is. It's rated X. You have to be 18 to buy their music. When I was growing up in the 80s, I don't like saying when I was growing up, but in the 80s, there was very few uh, musical artists where you had to be 18 to purchase their music. Today, you have to be 18 to purchase all, almost all these people's music, including Beyonce. They'll have explicit st sticker on their album cover. This is crazy, but their biggest audience, their biggest consumers are teenagers under 18 or around that age. So the biggest people, the people that listen to music the most is teenagers, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's under 18. That's their consumers. That's their market. But you got to be 18 to purchase their music. Just think about that for a moment. Just think about that. Let that sink in. And so that's their target audience is younger people, 30 and under, around 25. That's who's spending the money on the music. But they're putting out stuff, rated X stuff to target them.
And so anyway, so just on that. And so then what I want to add to that is about how women should dress. I heard some preacher, Mr. Geno Jennings, you know, he preaches a little truth. Every preacher preaches a little truth, but doesn't mean they're not a false teacher because he is. And so him, you know, I appreciate some of his holiness preaching. But when he, he he's very good at twisting the truth. And so when he says, I heard him say, someone uploaded a video on him saying women can't wear wigs. And I heard him saying women can't wear makeup. That's not true. The Bible says in the New Testament, he commonly goes to the Old Testament to support his saying. But we're under the New Testament today. We're not under the Old Testament. To use the Old Testament to justify or to try to tell a person how they're supposed to please God today. No, you need to go to the New Testament. You need to mainly stick in the New Testament. And so in the New Testament, in Philippians chapter 4, verses 5, it says, do all things in moderation. Because today we are under the law of liberty. So it's not so much what we can't do, it's how we do it. God wants us to do all things in moderation. So the truth is, Mr. Gino, that a woman can wear makeup. She has to do it in moderation. A woman can wear a wig. She has to do it in moderation. A woman can wear fake nails. She has to do it in moderation. It all has to be in moderation. To the point where if, you, if you're doing something and everybody's staring at you when you walk in a room. It's probably not in moderation. So yeah. And so these celebrities. They're not doing things in moderation. They're getting these. Uh plastic surgery uh for instance like Nicki Minaj I think she was the first one on the scene over a decade ago when she came out with the breast implants and the butt implants now everyone's trying to copy off of her including Beyonce that's not Beyonce's real body that's not Nicki Minaj's real body Cardi B all these these are not their real bodies I'm not saying they don't have a nice shape but they've added to it They've had surgery, plastic surgery on their face. Uh, Beyonce had no surgery. So did uh, Jennifer Lopez. And then afterwards, they were voted the most beautiful women in the world. After they had uh, plastic surgery, that's not fair. Even though they were beautiful anyway, they were beautiful without having to have the surgery. But I'm just trying to make a point that younger people, their audience is teenagers and teenagers are looking at this. Thinking this is how they should look. They're mimicking these people. Don't mimic them. Don't mimic them. You're fine the way you look. The Bible says do all things in moderation. But there's nothing wrong. If if you want to have nose surgery. Because you are very very uncomfortable. With your nose or ears. It's not a sin. I encourage you to take uh, everything to God in prayer. First. And I don't know everything. But it's not a sin to have a uh, surgery. It just depends. You have to do all things in moderation and then ask yourself the motive in your heart because I don't know your heart. I don't know their heart. But in general, they're doing this to make money, to please their audience so they can keep making record sales. I know I'm in a, I'm in a, a media industry. I'm in a publishing industry. I know how it works. People want to make money. But we have to, you know, we want to be careful to not make money the end, the end of be all of it. And so anyway, so that's I just want to keep focused on what I'm saying. Teachable moment that uh, the way these people are dressing is overkill. I mean, the next step is naked because they took off almost all their clothes. The next step is, step is naked. And uh, and then, yeah, women, we the Bible says do all things in moderation. These some churches, I don't care what church you go to, including the Church of Christ. Sometimes the preachers go too far and they start stretching the truth. Talking about you can't even wear jewelry. That's not Bible. We can wear jewelry. We can even wear a cross. The Bible says do all things in moderation. We're under the law of liberty. It depends on the motive. If I wear a cross and I'm not worshiping it. Then it's not a sin. I personally, I like wearing crosses because what I'm saying to the world when I wear crosses, I ain't ashamed of Jesus. He died on a cross for me. And I love him. And I want everybody to know I love him, even without opening my mouth. And I'm not worried about living a godly lifestyle. I live a godly lifestyle. But that's why I wear a cross. It's not a sin to wear a cross. It's a sin if I worship it. 
but I don't. I just wear it because I love Jesus. And that's just the way I want to. That's one way. But I'm just speaking in general. And so, yeah. So, and women, we can dress in moder all The Bible says do all things in moderation. No one has scripture. And you can't go to the Old Testament to tell women they can't wear a wig or makeup or jewelry. It's not biblical. It's wrong. It's twisting the scripture and it's stretching it too far like the Pharisees did. And so, you know, people are doing this. I don't know their heart, but a lot of people doing this just to get attention, telling people this. And then I noticed I was watching his video. He's dressed to the nines. Him and his, the men on stage, at G Gino Jennings, they're dressed to the nines. But if you look at the women in the audience, when the camera goes to the audience, they look like homeless people. Talk about hypocrisy. This is not right. Why? Why? Are they, I can't. And people don't even see this. And if you're going to tell people how Jesus wants us to live today, you need to go to the New Testament, not the Old Testament. And you need to start in the book of Acts where the church began, because that's where the church began in the book of Acts. It did not begin in the book of Matthew. That's just talk about Jesus ministry on earth. And Jesus mainly preached to the Jews. His audience were Jewish people. Not Gentiles. Everyone else today is a Gentile. So anyway, that's it. That's all I got to say. Anyone have any questions, please let me know. Because I know I just said a lot. If you need scripture reference, let me know. Okay, so I just want to put that out there. Do not follow these people. And the way they dress with their plastic surgery. Kim Kardashian as well. She's had breast implants. But all this stuff. This is not how they look. And I was just watching a video how they were saying she didn't put her belly butt in. Some photos, they're all photoshopped. Some, they look good in general, but then they just over, go over the top to get attention. Like Nicki Minaj did when she first came out. It's just to get attention, to make money. And so, but they're setting a very bad example for young people, even some church members. That's why I'm talking about this, that wants to follow. If you don't, if you want to follow them, go ahead. That's, that's, you know, we're all free moral agents do what you want. But I want to put this out there for those who don't, you know, don't really know what's going on. Especially in the religious world and in the world. So I wish someone had told me all this stuff. But I never dressed the way that these people dress today. Even when I was in the world, they really just go extreme. So anyway, that's all. Put your comments below. If you want to, please click like and subscribe. Chat with you later. Bye-bye.